Maayong adlaw! Magandang araw! Good day, everyone! So, once again, this is Teacher Jafet, and this is my first time to welcome you all to JNR Classroom! And I hope that this, this channel helps you in your educational journey. Alright, so for this morning, I would like to share to you about the waste management using the five R's. Okay, why five R's? Yeah, we have known this as three R's. We have the reduce, and then reuse, and then recycle. And I would like to add up two R's, and that are recover and repair. All right, so are you all ready? Thank you, so let's go. So the first R is reduce. So what is reduce? Well, this simply means to lessen the amount of waste that will add up to the environment. So we are advised here to use or buy less of those materials that are readily disposable and non-biodegradable. Okay, so example of the practices for the reduce, it is better to use um, rechargeable rechargeable batteries rather than disposable batteries also buy products in bigger packages than smaller packages none mm, teacher I learned here that I should um, buy the bigger box of of chalk rather than buying the smaller box of chalk so that I can also save money and for the topic for our topic i can save more waste or lessen no lessen the the amount of waste in the environment so that is reduce and r is reuse so reuse means to find another use of the materials that are already been used example Using reusable bags when going to shopping or grocery stores. You know, I really have an experience with this, so I would like to share it with you. There in San Carlos City, Negros Occidental, plastic-free city. It means to say that the citizens or the people there are not allowed to use plastics, right? When we go to the market, um, everything that we purchase is put in the plastic, right? Plastic bags. But there in San Carlos, they don't use anymore the plastic bags. So the customer uh, should should bring these bags or these net bags. Yeah, and I'm, I'm, I, re I really have a great experience there when we, when I bought their um, fish. No fish. If you won't, you won't bring your own bag. You won't bring your own bag. Uh, it will be very hard for you to, to have that fish. So that city really, really is helping our environment, yeah, by, by reducing the, the plastic uh, usage and also by uh, reusing, no bags, okay? Sometimes we have this, we have this kind of practice nga when we buy some plastic bags, we also throw the plastic bags when in fact we can still use them, right? So that is... Reuse. Okay. So, what are your what are also your experiences of reuse? <laughs> okay. Also, avoid buying new materials when you still have the supply, right? So this way, existing materials or products can still be reused. Other materials also can be reused by donating. Yeah. Um, if you won't use this shirt anymore, ayog ilabay, don't throw it, diba? You can donate it, okay? So, in, in that way, you are reducing the waste of the environment and you are helping other people in need. And the third R is recycle, okay? 
So what is recycle? So recycle means to create a new product out of the material that has already served its purpose. Right. So I have a great example uh, to share with you. Okay. So uh, I know that you already drink a lot of soft drinks and you have those straw, right? <laughs> But after, right after you drink your soft drinks or your, um, what are those drinks? Sunday, what's up? Sunday? Uh, Sunday? Sunday? Oh, like that? <laughs> and any other drinks? Yeah, or floats. Oh, the straws. I know that you just throw them away, right? But in recycling, those straws will be. Uh, created to transform to a new product and so instead of adding to the waste adding waste to the environment you are recycling the materials and so a benefit also for you and here's my example Ding! see oh if I throw this straws away diba walay pulos it's, it will be useless. But, you ang straw, no, so reserve it or keep it, keep, 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 until such time that it will be many, then you can transform it to this. See? You're a holder of your school supplies. Well, thank you, Teacher Berlin. <laughs> uh, see, this is a very good example. And another example for recycle is this product I will present to you. Ta-da! See? This bottle, if you'll if you just if you'll just throw this. Wala na, basura na. Waste already. But this bottle is trans this bottle is transformed to Oh, see? Flower base. It's very creative. Once again, thank you, Teacher Berlin, for letting me borrow this. See? Oh, 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 what an initiative. So I hope that you can also show me yours. And the fourth, and the fourth R is recover. So what do you think is recover? This is new. Well, have you heard about incineration technology? Aha! Uh -huh. All forms of matters or materials have energy. All we have to do is how to get this energy. So, incineration technology got this. This is one way of generating energy from the waste. So, how does this technology work? So, this is done by putting a pile of garbage in the incinerator those piles of garbages will be burned into the huge incinerator and then it will be transformed to heat and electricity and we are down to the last R what do you think is that can you get can you guess? <laughs> can you guess uh, it could be Retoke, <laughs> joke. Uh, Richmond, joke. Or what? Uh, rethink, no, no, no. But it's repair. It means uh, to fix those materials that are not functioning or kanang naguba, diba? Or damage or destroy. Or what, what I mean is like that. You have to fix this. Dikai. Yeah, we people tend to buy new products. If we can see that our previous products are already not functioning or even they just have slight damages. No? So, in order for us to be an environmentalist, to, to be managers of our ways, let's also do the repair. Okay? So, I have my bag here, my hopeless bag, but. Bisag hopeless akong bag, but I am hopeful. <laughs> so what I did, I did not buy a new bag. I did not throw this bag, but I just repair it. See? This one, you can you can see a trace of, of my 
sewing skills. <laughs> yeah, that one. Mm, okay, it's very damaged now. Like, no kab na siya. So I sew it. Mm, so repair, repair. And that's all. And my takeaway for you, no? Let's just talk about repair. <laughs> so, you know, even how hopeless life may seem to you, if you, if you experience hopelessness, brokenness, always remember the last, last hour of the waste management. It's repair. No, we always have this time to repair, have the, the, the place to repair ourselves. And you know who's the best um, one to repair us, the best healer of us? It's Jesus. Yeah, he's just the only one. Well, we can also find comfort to other people. But when comfort seems not available, God is always available. He's his grace is sufficient. His healing power is, is enough for you to be to be whole again. Oh, so that's it. I hope that you learned about the five R's of waste management. Thank you.